we have a famous TV character here called Mr. Tumble. Mr. Tumble. This is Mrs. Tumble. <laughs> What can you see? Well, that's the furnace room, you know. We'll get another view of it when we go up the next bit. I wonder what they burned. Maybe it was... We'll have to step back like, oh, like this. Hi, everybody. Where are we? I nearly <coughs> set my neck, I know. He's going to have a laugh now. <laughs> this is, uh, she's got another name. She's... <laughs> We have a famous TV character here called Mr. Tumble. Mr. Tumble. This is Mrs. Tumble. <laughs> anyway, ignore him, <laughs> which you won't. Uh, where are we, Mr. Mr. W? We're at the uh, we're at uh, Binchester Roman Fort in mm -hmm. County Durham, and uh, currently stood just outside the furnace room. This is the furnace room leading over here. So it's provided. Sorry heat for the Roman baths. Which provide peat for the Roman bath? Heat. Oh, heat. <laughs> I thought you said peat. <laughs> heat. <laughs> She's got a blockage. <laughs> anyway, it's a lovely day and this is the first, the first part that we've just gone to. So we'll take you with us. And you can see why this was a Roman fort because it's got a view all the way around County Durham. And when was this? 25 AD? 75 AD. So it's got a view, quite a, a wide view. There's trees hiding at that side. But that, when we were driving up here, there was a beautiful view over the countryside. So it would be in an ideal position for a fort. It was on a Roman road Called as well. Deer Street, which was the main uh, route from York to Scotland. Yeah. And along it, the Romans built a number of forts. One down, also near where we live, uh, called Pierce Bridge. Then this one at Binchester. And then there are a couple more on the way up to Hadrian's Wall. Um, and uh, we'll get round those if you're interested. We'll take in you with us. In the coming weeks. So this here is the Deer Street. And this is... Um, Basically showing you the street there and the Roman road. So there's uh, is a Roman road. This is the where? Yeah, right in front of Is it not that bit? That bit over there is the Roman road. Do you think so? There, yes, I, I think so. Well, it might be. I think there's uh, various stages. The only thing that about archaeology is you never know what on earth it is. This? I wouldn't fancy taking a wagon along there. This is a, there's your drainage at the side. This building here is the bath. The oh, bath right. building. Also there, yes, that there. That's there with the the cobblestone. So that was what the road, surely it wasn't like that. It would have been awful to walk along. Of course, they'd have treaded it down a bit more. So the first one we were at was the furnace room there and then uh, we are standing where it says you are here and we're going to walk into the fur into the baths and you've just had a shock why have I you had a shock? a shock you walk in and then look at the bath and in the corner you thought it was a real man <laughs> so these are the baths wow and that is a roman soldier he looks like one of those four figures from house of fraser's show uh, window 
window display. Well, that's a real <laughs> Roman soldier being preserved from AD. I don't 80. think so. So this is what it would have looked like, isn't it? With the yeah. walls. Well, they surely would the, would they wouldn't have had as high as this though, would they? I mean if they've dug down. These are the these are the foundations and, and the remains of the walls that they've found. So it would have been as high as this? So it would have probably normally been as high as this. Wow. That's what the, that's what they're trying to sort And of that's the way how they're heating the baths. Telling you how they heat the baths. Yeah, Obviously there's so. tunnels so they probably put the coals and things underneath. And then the water would be in here and he's sitting so that's actually quite a nice idea. Very cool. Look, this is the cold plunge bath. And then this, oh this is the cold plunge bath. I like the way they've actually painted the tops to let you feel like it's some Roman a Roman uh, Surroundings. It's how it would have looked, probably. Yeah. With windows. So the cold plunge bath would have been like this. And then here, well, down there behind those, there is where we first started off. Uh, this is the second hot room. This would have been just a hot room. Like a sauna room. Yeah, and you see those those pillars, mm -hmm. those original built by the Romans. What they what they did is they laid the floor on the top of those mm -hmm. um, using concrete. Uh, and they wouldn't have had concrete in those days, would the they? The Romans invented concrete. Did they? Yeah. Well, there's something I've learned. Uh, as, uh, as I remember anyway, it could have been somebody before them, but certainly they used to make and use concrete. I thought concrete was a 20th century thing. No. Well, I... So, and I wonder, what, they must have gone and got all these bricks from places, surely. They would make the bricks in... Um, from a quarry, a nearby quarry. Well, the, in the same way as they make bricks now, they'd get the clay. Oh, I see, you make the bricks, yeah. Yeah. It's just clay, and mm -hmm. stick it in an oven and, and bake it. So this, looking down here, is the second hot room. Oh, you, right. Now if you come down, you'll be able to see, if we go down here, you'll be able to see the, an actual uh, Roman floor. How they do it. Oh yes. So they build those pillars up and they lay on top of it the concrete. Amazing. Would there be water down here? Or just fires? Oh no, there wouldn't be water because the water's above. The water's They'd above. just have the fires. Where would the fire be? Right to your right. There. there was a furnace outside the arch to your right. Also the furnace was here. And the hot air from there circulated through the hypercourse chamber to warm the rooms above. The concrete floors of the bath building were supported by pillars. The heat from the furnaces circulated in the vaults beneath the two rooms. From there, the hot air was sucked up hollow tiles in the walls to vent or chimneys in the roof. There you go. Wow. Just see the hollow tiles down there. I'm not seeing anything. Put this. That must be the vent for the air, the hot air to come out. And this is the back of the baths. I like, I like the fact that you can. There's lots of little seats all over the place, so you can yeah. sit and sit and.
just relax. A little school room for kids to draw. Zenovia vocabulary. And a place for children. So if you've got any kids, it's a good place to come. And look at this. Put your mosaic. Oh, you're going to do a mosaic. Let's do a mosaic. Like this. A great idea. So you can design your own mosaic and then put them back when you're finished. And there's an example of a mosaic. Can you make a picture with the mosaic pieces? Please put the mosaic pieces back for the next visitor. And then design your own mosaic there. This is very, I bet you they have school trips here as well for children to see. The Roman numerals. Let's see how good we are with our Roman numerals. I, V, X, L, C, D, M. And that's it. LXXX80. XL40. Triple X30. Can you match the captions to each part? Shield is a scutum. Leather tights a brachi. Sword a gladius. Face and armor lorica segmentata. A tunic, a tunica, and a sandal, a It's amazing, isn't it, how many words we still use from Roman times. Yeah. There's a form there mm -hmm. with a load on the Nubian vocabulary, and you recognise half of the words because you still use them. Settlement, Roman, artifact. Flu, yes, we use flu. Excavation. Culvert, I've heard of culvert. Excavation. Gladius, no, don't use gladius. Frigi frigidarium. frigidarium. I bet that's a fridge. Yeah, of course it is. Archaeologist, yes, obviously. Cavalry. Cavalry, barracks. Interesting. Roman emperors. All the Roman emperors they had. So this is where we are. Uh, we uh, we've come from here, from Darlington area, and Binchester's on the the motorway goes up here. The motorway goes through Newton. There it is, the A1M. That's the motorway that takes you north. But this road here would have been the Roman road that went up through Piercebridge, Binchester, up to Lanchester, Vindemora, and then up to Hadrian's Wall, which is the big wall that's a bit like the China Wall, but not, not as big as the, China, the wall of China, Great Wall of China, which goes which separates the north from the south. Scotland. Scotland from, well, it doesn't really, because I live in Northumberland. Well, no, which no, is north of the Hadrian. What used to be Scotland. What you, oh, was I, did I used to live in Scotland? No, in Roman times, you would. There you go. And I just was informed by the young lady who, in, who we bought the tickets from that the Romans consisted of all sorts of nationalities. Now, I always thought they were all Italian. <laughs> so there's an ignorance on my part. History was never my best... Uh, she was never my best forty. Photographs of the site. And there's the river. Is that the river that's going around like mm -hmm. that? Yeah. If you live within this area it's, so far, it's been quite interesting. Now what's this Roman dress?
and they even give children things to try on. Something Roman roads, such as Deer Street, were used by the army and imperial officers as well as civilians. They enabled units of soldiers and military supply wagons to move quickly and safely. There were official hostels, mansiones, at intervals about 25 miles, where accommodation and relays of horses were available free of charge for military and state personnel. Civilians could also stay at these establishments, but they had to pay. Stone markers, milestones, were erected at intervals of a thousand Roman paces. One pace is two strides. That would have been. From here, you're looking towards the southeast side of the wall, just which en enable you to appreciate the large size of Finchester, and that only a small proportion has been. So from excavated. here, you're looking across, and that probably where that this tent is the, is that, the wall. What did she wall. say the white tent was again? Did you say it was the? Yeah, we're here. You were here. Um, which is there. there and this was the fort around it mm. which would be all of that field probably right round probably where the hedge is quite possibly um, we might find out if we go to the tent right so we've got to find our way around to the tent and this is the commandant's house That there. We were standing over there before looking at the main road, um, which is there. And that side there was the Commandant's house. And so along there were the baths. Right, well we've come, that was where we were before. We've come round to the regimental bath building that they're busy on with. They've got a big tent cover over it. Who would have thought there was archaeological ruins under here? Oh, look at this, wow. Now, it's amazing how they know that. And this is what the bath building? Yeah, this is uh, where the troops would, would come for the bath. The one we were in was probably the officers and The family. officers' bath, and this is That's the troops. The officers' family, where they go, but this mm. is where all the soldiers would go. But um, the amazing thing is, you know, that if that's the foundation base, there's only been, what, about two metres of... Soil. Soil dumped on top of it. Three meters, probably. Yeah. Three meters, yeah, because quite high. If you look there, it's about one, two, and then and then the top of it, where the top layer of soil is along there, that's mm. uh, about half a meter to a three. You know. Oh, it's amazing. This, um, the Romans. Never they must have built this up. People have built this up, though, haven't they? Yeah. Did you reckon out. they've exposed it like this? Well, I can imagine, yeah. Um, I, I, I think so. And it's possible that they might have piled a few bricks mm -hmm. up. But like those very top ones at the front yeah, here. Yeah, but if you look, I mean, that, that one at the back there. Yeah, that's cemented, isn't it's it? It's solid, isn't it? Yeah, that one there. Amazing. You are now outside the fort, standing above Deer Street, and in front of you are the remarkably well-preserved remains of part of a bath building dating from the earliest years of Binchester. So how many years is that? It was AD 75. 75. So we have, these These are two, 1,950 1, years. years ago. People were around here. And now it's just lovely countryside. Pretty clever people. This was revealed by excavation campaign of 2009 to 15, undertaken as an international field school 
involving the archaeology section of Durham Council, the Department of Archaeology, Durham University, and their contracting unit, Archaeological Services, Stanford University of California, Texas Technical University, and the Architectural and Archaeological Society of Durham and Northumberland. Hundreds of students from the above institutions and hundreds of local volunteers took part in the project. And, and the lady says it stood still for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and the amazing thing is that uh, for all your American uh, viewers, the Romans never got to America. Mm. But then you lot didn't get to America until two or three hundred years ago. Yeah. So amazing. Mm hmm. And this is the view of the bath building. So they've deduced there's a circular part as well. Ah, so this is what they've excavated. So that's as much of that there is as much of, as they've excavated there. But they're also aware that there's more here and there's also more there. And that there's possibly another one there. And maybe there's even more there. Combined changing room. Yeah? Those remains are not far down. They're not actually. They're only what a couple of well the top of those bricks there mm. are probably only about two feet. Mm. If you look there, where that wall is there. There, then that's just a couple about a foot or two feet below that soil. So that's 1,900 years of dust falling on the ground, raising the ground higher. Yeah, so this is the bit that they've exposed and they've yet to expose that and the back bit. These two rooms here are those two rooms there with a little, with a little bit there. Where is it there? There. That is that little bit there. And then that bit is that bit over there, but it's not yet exposed fully there. And I've just shown you this thing here about how the Romans used to flog their bodies with nettles to keep them warm. My sister in France, she says, if you've got rheumatism or arthritis, go into the garden or go into the fields and get some nettles and whack them against the joint that hurts. She does that all the time. I don't know that I'd like to do that, but she does that. And she says it actually takes, so it numbs the pain. So if you're that way inclined, get yourself some stinging nettles, those things. There they are. Oh, they're all over the place in the UK. Get yourself some stinging nettles and whack them against the joint. I think hers, her worst ones are her wrists and she whacks them against her wrist and she says it makes a massive difference for her joints. So there's a tip for you. And just over there, you can't really see it, but it's in the, we have, uh, they have Kinrin. 
and Kinran, we haven't been to Kinran yet, so we really ought to go, is where they reenact battles and things, is that right? The reenact the uh, the reenact history. History. Uh, there are some battles but there's a lot of other stuff as well. The reenact battles and all sorts of other things. It's all to do with history. And it's I think you've got a view over Bishop Auckland Castle as well. And so it's lovely. Really looks nice. We really must go and see it.